the synopsis of the iLive demonstration is that I was able to take a $12 iLive and make it sound as good, if not better, than a SoundLeak Bose Mini. It's, I think it has a little more clarity using a combination of heterogeneous materials found commonly in middle-class homes, materials such as a tree branch, glue, a lampshade, common household materials, and gummy worms. In that I felt the iLive mod needed a little more wood texture, so I went out, I found a wood ball, I punched a hole in it, mounted it on my iLive mod, uh, and it also became a candy dish. Now, I also found that when you add the candy into the dish, it also changes the, the sound texture. Of course, then when you think about, you know, the candy in the dish being part of the sound equation, you would think, okay, we've got, you know, hard candy versus soft candy, so you got Lemon drops, M and M, Skittles, Rollos, in uh, evaluating their effects on, uh, you know, vocal texture or you know any any texture with any instrument or whatever. So, uh, very interesting. Adding the uh, candy dish. Yeah. I also thought about. Jolly Ranchers and, of course, Cinnamon Jawbreakers. And uh, certainly Milk Duds would be interesting uh, to uh, study in that situation. And, of course, there could be some additional items along those lines that would go into the candy dish. Particularly red licorice.